Hey, and welcome back to the last part of our short series on PageTS config. Today we're going to take a look about everything regarding modules, so stay tuned. So, in our past series we covered a couple of things we can do with forms and stuff we can do with um, permission settings, etc. And now we're going to take a look at cool things we can do with the different modules of Type 3. So let's dive right in. So if we take a look at the mod section in the documentation, you can see there's a couple of things that we can do and we'll start with the more shared ones. And there's a couple of very, very helpful things in here. Um, we're going to be covering the call post list later because our backend layout only has one column position and it doesn't make a lot of sense to hide that one thing. But some cool things we can show you is some settings for your multilingual sites. So let's take a look. Um, right here, I have a new file um, where we want to set the default language flag to French and disable a couple of languages and we'll show you why that makes sense in a second. So the first thing we need to do, we need to go to the mod folder and create a new file which we'll call mod.tsconfig and what we add in here is basically our settings that we just saved. We save that file, we're all good. What we now need to do is we need to go to the all.txt file, which basically includes all the other lines in here. So we're going to copy the last line, paste it in, and then go to the mod folder right here. And instead of having backend layouts.txt, we're going to call the mod config file. So we add this here. And if we save this, we can now see some pretty neat stuff going on in the back end. So if we go to the page module again, you can now see that this language is called uh, Francais. And we have the French flag right next to these uh, content elements, even though we're in the default language. Um, if we want to make a new translation of this page, you can now see that we have Canada in the French language right here. And if we go and take a look at our setup that we said, you can see that we have saved, uh, we have disabled two languages right here, which is languages one and three. Um, and if we remove this setting and just save it, we can reload this and now we can see we got a couple more languages that we can choose. This is incredibly helpful if you want to have multiple trees with multiple languages, but not every tree has a specific language. And in order to keep this clean and tidy also for admin users, it makes a lot of sense to basically remove languages from trees that you don't want to have. And always keep in mind, PageTS config is always being stored on a per tree basis. But there's more neat things we can take a look at and set in our backend configuration. So for example, let's go down to the web list part. And there's a couple of settings we can set. So for example, the list only single table view. For those who don't know what this is, if we go to the list module, you will always see your tables and all your records being expanded on these lists. You can collapse them though and this is much better. And you can then click on top of this and now you will only see these records, um, no other records being shown right here. This is the so-called single table view. And with PageTS config, you can show tables only in the single table list view. This makes sense if you have a table, um, a folder with a lot of records on them and you don't want to clutter the entire interface with having all these being um, expanded all the time. Um, another neat thing, and this is what we're going to show you next, is height tables. And height tables is pretty, pretty useful, for example, for the TT content table. So we're just going to copy this over. And what you can see, if we close this one down again, that here's 
on our root page, we have a, a couple of content elements right here. Now imagine you are having, say, 20 content elements on that page, and this page runs in 20 languages. So suddenly you have a list of 400 content elements on this page. Not very nice. Plus, we want our editors to use the page module primarily to edit content elements on a page. So let's set this setting right now. So we head over, copy that in. So it's mod web list, then the table TT content, and we want to hide that table. So if we save this and flip back, you can now see that the TT content table is not shown within the list module. You can edit the content elements like you knew it before in the page module as usual. And this is something that we definitely recommend to not clutter the entire interface for your editors. Um, if we scroll down, there's a couple more things. You can basically hide translations for each and every table individually. Uh, you can disable the search box. You can select the level of um, the amount of levels that items should be should be searched for in the search because if you have a lot of levels, searching takes quite a while. So you can see that TS Config is a very very helpful tool in order to customize the backend, and there's no coding involved. It's just configuration. So. We hope this helped you out a bit and we'll see you next time.